Hello everyone. In this video, we will be simplifying expressions by factoring out the GCF. Let's define what a GCF first. GCF is an acronym which stands for greatest common factor. This is defined as the largest expression that can divide evenly into two or more expressions. Now let's take this example right here. Factor out the GCF of the following expression. So we have 8x minus 10. So there are steps that we need to follow in order that we can factor this expression out. The first step is to break down the terms to its factors. So I'm just going to go ahead and rewrite it. So this would be um, 8x minus 10. So I'm going to break this down into its factors. So the factors of 10 would be, um, that's going to be 5 and 2. So I go ahead and write this as um, 5 times 2 right there. And then this 8x, we um, factor this out. So that would be um, 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. And then we have an x. So this is the um, factored form for 8x. So what are we going to do next is we move on to the second step. The second step is to determine the common factor. So in this case right here, the common factor is 2. This is our GCF. So I'm just going to write that um, down here. GCF that we have here is 2. Two. So I will put that as 2 right here. That's the GCF. Now it says that we need to factor this, we need to factor out the GCF of this expression. So then we need to move on to the third step. The third step is to use the distributive property backwards to simplify the expression. So what I would do is that I will write the GCF first, 2 times, then I will put the parentheses. Again, this 2 right here was actually our GCF. So then we are going to use the distributive backwards. So what do I write here such that if I multiply 2 by that um, expression, it will come out 8x. So that would be 4x. So I'm doing the distributive backwards. So as you can see here, 2 times 4x is 8x. And so I need to figure out what do I write after that such that if I multiply 2 to that expression, it will come out negative 10. So that number would be negative 5. So if I distribute 2 times negative 5 is a negative 10. So I did the distributive backwards. So then we can go ahead and say that this can be factored out as 2 times 4x minus 5. So these two are equivalent. So that if you distribute 2 times 4x is 8x, 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. On this part right here, there could be other ways to do this instead of using the distributive backwards so that we can determine what numbers we put in here. What we do is we divide the GCF to this. So that would be 8x divided by 2 is 4x. And negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5. Either way, it doesn't matter, you still get the same answer. So this is the factored form for 8x minus 10. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, the first step is to break down the terms to its factors. I'm just going to show the work down here. Okay, so I factored it out. Now the second step is to determine the common factor. So as we can see here, 3 is common to both of them and x is common to both of them. So that we can go ahead and say that our GCF is actually 3 times x is 3x. So this is our GCF. Now we need to move on to the third step. We use the distributive property backwards to simplify the expression. So I'm just going to write the 3x outside the parentheses and I need to figure out what do I write inside the parentheses. Again, this 3x right here was our GCF. Okay, so that we can go ahead and figure this out. Again, you can divide it. 15x squared divided by 3x is actually 5x. So I'm just going to go ahead and write this as 5x. So that if we use the distributive backwards, 3x times 5x is 15x squared. So that we can divide this negative 3x divided by 3x is actually negative 1. And that makes sense because if we distribute 3x times negative 1 is negative 3x. So then the um, 
factored form of this would be 3x times 5x minus 1. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next example right here. So what I did was I um, actually did the first two steps already. Again, the first step is to break down the terms to its factors. So what I did was I um, broken down the 6x cubed and the 8x to it. Um, factors so I um, wrote them in here and then the same time for the 8x and then I went down and moved on to the second step which is to determine the common factor so the common factor for each of these factors would be 2 and x so I wrote the GCF right here so the GCF is 2x so then we are now ready to move on to the third step the third step is to use the distributive property backwards to simplify the expression so in this problem right here we can go ahead and write the GCF outside of the parentheses and then we put in the uh, parentheses right there. Again, this 2x was actually our GCF. So then we can go ahead and use the distributive backwards. So we are going to figure out what do we put inside the parentheses. So we're going to use the distributive backwards. So that would be uh, what number do we put in here such that if we multiply it to 2x, we get an 8x. So that value would be 4. So if you have 2x times 4 is 8x. Now, we, or the other way to do this is 8x divided by 2x is 4. Now let's move on to the next term right here. So what do we put? in here so that if we multiply 2x it will come out 6x cubed so that number would be positive um, 3x squared so that if we multiply 2x times 3x squared is 6x cubed so this is equivalent to 2x times uh, 4 plus 3x squared so these two expressions that we have here are equivalent at this time I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own and when you're done and pause it and check your answer okay so we go over the problem here again the first step is to break down the terms to its factors i'm just going to show the work down here Okay, so I've broken them down into its factors. Now we're ready to move on to the second step. The second step is to determine the common factor. So in this um, factors right here, 5 is common to all 3. And then this x is also common to all 3. So that we can go ahead and say that our GCF is actually 5x. So that's going to be 5 times x is 5x. So then we go ahead and move on to the third step so that we can go ahead and simplify this. The third step is to use the distributive property backwards to simplify the expression. So that would be 5x will be placed outside the parentheses. And then we're going to um, determine what are the ones that we write into the parentheses. So first we are going, to, we can divide it 15x cubed divided by 5x is actually 3x squared. And that makes sense because if we multiply these two, use the distributive property, that would be 15x cubed. And then the next one right here would be minus 2x and then plus 1. So again, once we multiply this, uh, 5x times negative 2x is negative 10x squared. 5x times 1 is a positive 5x. So then this is our factored form. We factored out the GCF. So we can go ahead and write this as equivalent to 5x parentheses 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.